gals, welcome to Sweet Scoots with cool, trick, and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer. We are here to share with you how to install the EJK electronic jet kit onto a soft tail. Now here's the scenario. Here's what happened. The bike has had a new Vance & Hines free flow air filter system put on it and a set of two into one freedom pipes and afterwards it had a mist to it and uh, it ran lean. The plugs were pretty white so we're going to install the only kit we know that has the program already in it. You can adjust it very easily, but it's already pre-programmed if you changed your pipes and if you changed the air filter. So we're going to show you a quick overview on how to install this. Let's get busy. Right. First thing, you want to pick up one of these right here. It's a headlamp. This is one of the best ones out there. You do look kind of a, I don't know, like a little dork when you're wearing it, but man, it does light up the situation. You can see what you're doing. The uh, kit is real simple to install. You remove the seat and you'll lift the tank up and get to the plugs, to the injectors, and there you go. So let's go. All the tools will be in the show more of the video's description. If you don't know where that is, look here for a desktop computer or look here for a cell phone. You'll find all the tools and products that we used in this video. Okay, on with the headlamp. Light this thing up. And it makes a huge difference. Now, you remove your seat. Take off our little pack there. A lot of the bolts are Torx. So get yourself a good set of Torx bits and wrenches. Now here's what we found when we were digging into this, which didn't help, I'm sure. This is a vacuum line plug that uh, was all cracked and it's hard very hard so we're going to replace that right now so we don't forget it all right let's put our uh, vacuum cap on there's our assortment of vacuum caps we picked one out of a huge assortment of them great kit to have around all right now the next thing you're going to do is take the bolt out lift your tank up make sure you don't go up too high we use a piece of foam, you can use a piece of wood, hold the tank up so you can get to what's underneath. You can see the injector, it's kind of hard to see, but you see the little metal ring back there. Let's see if I can get something. Okay, you see the little metal clip right here? That goes on the injector. You'll unplug that and plug your jet kit system into that and then this wire will go into the other wire that comes off of it i'll show you all right here is our kit and here is the plug that will go on it doesn't matter which injector you put these on this one will go on the injector and then the wire that comes off will go on here so the first thing we're going to do is route it you can take the programmable electronic jet kit and put it on top of your battery, put it behind one of your side covers, whatever works the best for you. We'll figure that out later. That's all personal preference. So what I'm going to do is pull the wire out, plug these all in, then I'll come back and show you that I got it all plugged back in, and uh, we'll go from there. I'm not going to waste your time showing you how to do that. Pretty simple. You just got to get your tank up high enough you can get in there. All right, let me help you out here a little bit on this one. When you go to pull these wires off your injector on your bike, most people think you have to pull this wire out. You don't. The best thing you can use is a huge Phillips screwdriver. And the reason you use a large one is because it'll set right over that wire and you push that in. When you push that in like that, you can pull it right off. All right, we have it all plugged in. You will not believe how easy Having this long Phillips screwdriver makes your job bending wires around and getting them where they need to be. Now here's our first plug back in here. If you can see that right there, that's our first one. And then our second one on our other injector is right there, right back in there. They're plugged in and then the wires that come with them off of them that plug into the wires that went into your injector are right there you plug those in they just snap right in 
And then the other one's right up there. Okay, all done. Now what we have to do is route our wire. We can actually put some tie wraps on those to keep them up there. We're going to tie wrap this up in here by the tank and run the controller down. We'll get it uh, wired up. And the only thing you have to hook up is one ground wire right here. That's it. Put that to your battery and it should be good to go. We'll be right back. All right, she's fully installed and we ran the wires, went under the existing harness clamps here, zip tied it here, looped it around, actually stuck the controller down in here. So if we need to get it out, we can. You can see it down there wiggling around. Gas line needs to go back on. For those, for those of you that don't know how to put the gas line back on, you just push up and pull down on this. Push up, pull down. We're going to put it back in. And she's on. And we'll try firing it up and see what happens. Real easy install, so we're excited about starting it up. We've never had problems with these controllers. They've seemed to do us real well here. So let's see what we got. As long as we got everything plugged back in, we're on it. tell you this right here that's why we use these kits the easiest simplest way to make this change the bike sounds a hundred percent different and of course you can program it for your high end mid range do whatever that you want to do but that bike sounds completely different sounds like it's just got tons of power ready to go can't wait to get it out on the road